Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this review of the Men's Monaco Homage watch. I picked up this watch from Amazon um, on a flash sale for $25. It is an automatic piece and it actually came on this strap, um, which isn't very good. So I took it off and I put it on this blue and orange NATO bracelet. And today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it and go over some of the uh, good stuff about it, really, and tell you how to save over $5,000 if you're really looking for a Monaco and uh, just don't have an extra five grand. So let's talk dimensions. It's 42 uh, millimeters in diameter, 14 and a half millimeters thick. It is kind of thick. It's got 20 inch lugs and... This strap, I think, really complements uh, the piece inside. It does have an exhibition case. Of course, can't really see it too much because of the strap, but it's there. It's not marked, so I don't really know what movement is in this watch. But it is 316L stainless steel, um, so it's a little bit durable. Mineral glass up here, uh, self-winding. It, has it hasn't been running for a while. I I've worn it once or twice, uh, but as you can see, it's moving. So that's great. I have not figured out how to use the two subdials, but really I just wanted the watch for the look, not so much the practical use of a chronograph. It does say it's water resistant to three uh, ATM, so that's cool. I am gonna put a link to both the strap and the watch in the description of this video. So let's just go over a couple things really quick about this. So number one, you see that it's race inspired. You see the fact that it's got the really pretty dial. And I don't know if you could tell right there, but the dial kind of floats. You have these orange tubes on all four corners and it kind of floats there. And the sweeping hand isn't really bad. I mean, it's it's not, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's probably some kind of seagull uh, movement. Let's see if you can hear it whine. Just a little, just a little loud. Again, $30, I mean, it wasn't something that I was gonna keep forever and ever. It's something that I just really wanted to try something different to start 2019 off with a different piece. And I think I nailed it with this. I know I posted it on my Instagram and somebody right away asked me about it and then went ahead and ordered it. So it does, you know, it starts off conversation and it wears really well. And I'm gonna put it on my wrist here so you guys can take a look. Now, I have an 8-inch wrist, believe it or not, um, and it does actually fit pretty well. So that's one thing I really like. I don't know if it doesn't look like there's any sort of screws on the actual case. It is a very shiny case. Let me uh, grab a little brag here and just clean this up a little bit just to show off the shine. Now, the interesting thing is, is that on Amazon, it does call it a fan miss men's Monaco homage. But you can see there that it doesn't say that. It says Jaguar or Jaguar. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, you get the idea. It's a Monaco style watch. It's way less than what Tag would sell you theirs for. I've looked everywhere. Um, there's no way I'm going to spend $5,000 on, on a watch. I've got three kids to feed. So anyhow, again, just wanted to show off this watch. And it's really, it's a really nice piece. I'm actually going to put it on the wrist real quick. So there it is on the wrist, NATO strap all the way. Now, again, I have a big wrist, so I could actually I forgot to put the strap in the second loop. So there you go. Overall, I really find it to be very comfortable, even though it's pretty big. It sits very well on my wrist. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Like I said, I've worn it out a couple times and I've... Sorry about that hand in the video, that was my daughter. Uh, anyway, I've worn it out a couple times and uh, everybody seems to really enjoy it and they've asked questions on it. And when I tell them how much they paid, they're like, what? So, you know, 25 bucks plus the strap. The strap was an extra $10, so $35. And I got myself a really nice uh, weekender watch. So, I know this is a new review and uh, the channel's been up for years, but I've never really had a chance to sit down 
to do my watch videos. I plan on getting them better and better. Uh, if you like what you saw, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of watches you want to see me review. I will tell you that I have in mind to do um, some sort of commentary videos coming up soon regarding all the videos on YouTube. Uh, and as soon as I get all my setups complete, I will do that. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you the watch. I did. See you next time.